Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math Lessons. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are going over the congruent supplements theorem. What is it? What does it say? And I'm going to try to continue talking without spelling this theorem wrong. It's quite challenging, at least for me it is. So congruent supplements theorem, what is it? It's actually not all that controversial of a theorem, and it's not really all that interesting either, but hey, you clicked the video, not me, so I'm just doing my job now. So congruent supplements, for those of you that don't know, angles are called supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees. So for example, we got a angle like this. Let's call this angle um, A, and let's say it's got a measure of 30 degrees. Well, an angle supplementary to angle A would be this angle right adjacent to it. We could just call this, uh, let's call it angle B. I'll just draw that dotted line so it's sort of clear where the B is and this angle. And to be clear, I'm not saying these are congruent by having that little arc. I'm just saying, hey, it's an angle and it's got a measure of 150. So you can see these two angles, B and A, um, if we just say B plus A, where B and A are the measures of the angles, that's equal to 180 degrees. And you see they form a linear pair. Together they make a straight angle of 180 degrees because they are adjacent. Um, supplementary angles don't have to be adjacent, they can be separate, but they do have to add up to 180 degrees. So the congruent supplements theorem says that if two angles are supplementary to the same angle, they have to be congruent. And that's really quite obvious, because all that really means it's just saying that if x plus y equals z, so if you add y to x, you get z, and when you add w to x, you also get z, well then w must equal y, right? If you're starting with the same thing, you add something and you get the same thing, then w and y, the things you add, must be the same if you're getting the same result after the addition. So. In this case, B is supplementary to A because it has a measure of 150 degrees and 150 plus 30, the measure of A, is 180. So if we look, let's say we want to draw another angle supplementary to A, right? Let's draw it down here, push the paper up a little bit, and perhaps it looks something like this. Looks something like that. And this could be angle C. I'll push that up a little bit more. And this has, well, if it's supplementary to A, then it must have a measure of 150 degrees because 150 is the only number you can add to 30 to get 180. And oh, look at that, 150 degrees, it's supplementary to A. B is also supplementary to A, and thus they are forced to have the same measure. And that's what the theorem says, that's it. It says if two angles, in this case B and C, are supplementary to the same angle, in this case A, then they must be congruent, which we see very clearly there. And again, it's pretty, um, you know, a sort of common sense theorem. So in any event, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that this helped you understand what the congruent supplements theorem is and how to visually represent it and sort of what it means logically. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or need anything clarified down in the comments. If you have any other video, if you have any other video requests, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. All the way up here, dear Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear There's a light where I float That erases